more on that. Kevin. Hey guys, thank you very much and good morning everybody. The good news is that as it is out over open waters, it's just throwing some erosional surf and some rip currents along the southeast coast of the United States. Here's the Florida Peninsula there. These are the Bahama Islands. You can see this thing, the cloud shield on this is now about 700 miles across and the eye is pretty good size too. You can see that very well defined eye right there. This is color enhanced satellite imagery and this is moving to the north northeast right now at about 13 miles per hour. Category four packing winds, sustained winds of 130 miles per hour with some gusts up around 60. As we put this in the motion, it stays out over the warmer waters of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Here's the island of Bermuda. It is expected to track just to the north and west of that, but as a category three with 125 mile per hour winds late tonight into tomorrow morning, it's still going to create some problems for Bermuda. They're not going to escape it. They won't take a direct hit, but certainly indirectly. And then that will continue to go up into the uh, northern Atlantic and the Canadian Maritimes just to the west of New Finland. And you can see as we get into the, the weekend, it'll become extra tropical by that time. In our neck of the woods for the first day of fall, well, we don't have anything on uh, our local radar, but as we pull back to a wider perspective, you can already see with that northwest flow, we've got some lake effect rain showers coming off northern Lake Michigan and across Lake Superior. The wind is expected to maybe turn a little more northerly, so it may keep this a little more confined as this continues to develop through the day, a little more confined to areas from 131 westward. That doesn't mean that if you're east of 131 today, you won't see a shower, but I think a little bit better concentration of some showers will probably be to the west of 131 and then off to the north and west of Grand Rapids. And there may be some water spots out there on Lake Michigan as well. It's 50 degrees in Big Rapids, 53 in Fremont. Some of these areas to the north and east tomorrow morning at this time are probably going to be down in the upper 30s and there may be some patchy frost out there at that time. Our temperatures in Belding, 52 degrees. We're 54 in Grand Rapids, 57 in Battle Creek, 56 in Kalamazoo, and we're in the mid to upper 50s along and south of the I-94 corridor uh, as well. Uh, wind is going to be a little bit of an issue today. The winds will ramp up. The colors on this map are tied to the wind speeds, and you'll see these colors will stay stronger out over Lake Michigan because there's no buildings, there's no trees, there's no hills, there's no friction uh, out there. So the wind could get going at a pretty good clip out over Lake Michigan, so the winds will be stronger out there. But as we go on, through the day, you can see these winds ramp up out of the north and northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts than that. But that uh, cold air is going to help drive some lake effect rain showers and maybe some water spouts out there on Lake Michigan. So partly sunny to at times mostly cloudy skies, breezy cold, maybe a spotty shower uh, in those areas we mentioned with highs only in the upper 50s to around lower 60s today and that north northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's that secondary cold front that's going through as we speak and That'll turn the wind a little more north northwesterly. You could see some of those uh, spotty lake effect rain showers, especially hugging the lake shore there. Uh, as we get into tonight, uh, high pressure is going to build on in here, and as it does that, it'll clear the skies out for the most part, and we may see temperatures dip down into the upper 30s to around the 40 degree mark. We'll start Friday with some sunshine, but the clouds will be thickening in the second part of the day, and then already here comes our next weather system with the chance of some rain showers coming in here on Saturday as this system moves a little bit closer, and even into Sunday and beyond. On, we're still going to have some rain shower chances out there. That's reflected in the seven day forecast. Spotty showers fall arrives today, lower 60s. We're 63 tomorrow. That's dry. Tomorrow's a pretty good day, but it's just going to be cool. We're 67 on Saturday with a chance of showers. You can see those shower chances remain right into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. That is a look at our fall like forecast. Everybody It's 620. I think we're going to check traffic. Here's Rob.